Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. Coming to terms with the fact my wife is cheating on me. Rant. I'm sure like many people, when I first started getting thoughts in the back of my head about her being unfaithful my immediate reaction was I'm thinking crazy, she could never do that to me. But I'm increasingly confident that's exactly what she's doing to me. I haven't yet come across a smoking gun, but there's been an escalating degree of behavioral flags that can't be ignored. Wanting to travel for work more and expressing desires for some time apart while she stays on the other side of the country more and more. Being increasingly guarded over her phone, never leaving it out or her sight. Going on long walks at night, almost 2x as long as she ever would have before, supposedly talking to her mom the whole time. Taking her vibrator with her on this most recent trip despite telling me she never uses those alone. The real kicker, she left her iPad at home before this most recent work trip, and decided it needed to be remotely reset from the airport. I guess she doesn't realize there's a timestamp in iCloud when someone does that, and there's no good reason to do such a thing unless you're concerned someone is going to see messages you don't want them to. I'm still mourning the loss of our marriage and I don't even recognize myself, even typing this I feel like I'm sort of a paranoid and insecure freak. But I don't think I'm crazy. I never had an insecure bone in my body around us until a few weeks ago, and all of this has culminated since then. She's absolutely cheating on me. Update, wow, thank you all for the support. Did not expect to get this many responses to my story as well as so many people wanting to follow this throwaway account, I guess it's entertaining. I will keep posting updates on how this goes. Also, because I've gotten this tip multiple times, I can't access her phone records. It's a company paid phone, we are not on the same network or bill. Otherwise I would have done that a while ago. Listen to your gut, it is almost always right. You're only seeing red flags because they're meant to be seen as such, it does not sound like you are being paranoid or insecure. The hardest part is not being blinded by the she could never do that to me based on your past and seeing her for who she is in the current moment based on her current actions. It's the iPad thing that makes it abundantly clear. Everything else is weird but I could imagine some scenario where she just wants space and privacy as she works through our marital problems. You don't decide to remote wipe your iPad while you're waiting for a flight to take off unless you realize you forgot it and are panicking you're going to be exposed for something. It's hilarious because I don't even know the password, but now I know there's shit on there she was terrified I'd see. You wipe an iPad because it's lost or stolen. There is no logical reason to wipe it because you left it at home. This is way past the red flag stage. I'm really sorry. Thank you. I appreciate that. Take time for self-care while you go through this okay? Perspective can go a long way toward healing. Thanks I will. I might even go to the movies tonight just cause I feel like it ha ha. Have you checked her cell phone bill to find out who she is calling? Maybe she is dating around? I've said it to a few people but our phones are paid for by the companies we work for, I don't have access to her phone records. Update, got the receipts, she's a cheater update NSFW previous post here. The pie came through, the best $1000 I ever spent. Got photos of her taking her duck boy up to the hotel room while holding hands. Maybe I should have waited but the anger was overwhelming. I just messaged her saying I know all about it and I hope they have a good time, it's over for us, and attached one of the photos. It felt good. It's her birthday today too, I hope I ruined it for her. Like the coward she is, she didn't respond. But she's out there a whole extra week which gives me some time to start putting the affairs in order. Glad I got closure and confirmed I wasn't crazy. I deserve so much better than that gaslighting CNT. Update, she responded a few hours later saying what is this? Smiley face, 
smiley face, smiley face, the gaslighting and narcissism is insane. Update 2, wow, really thank you everyone for all the support. I've been flooded with positive messages and it means a lot. I told my family about the divorce and while they were upset they totally supported me. As do my close friends. She did ask to talk and I ignored it for several hours before finally just telling her I'd rather wait a day to do so. This is obviously a devastating betrayal but I'm taking the high road. The world needs more love, not less. I've retained counsel for a lawyer and insured Sue doesn't have access to the credit cards where I hold liabilities. I think we can mostly be amicable. Let's hope. Be prepared for the it doesn't mean anything, we can work it out. You weren't paying attention to me. Which is just funny now. How could I ever believe a word she says? I can and will do so much better. In your situation I would absolutely move on to bigger and better things. You stated before that there was divorce talk and separation. This puts the nail in. You'll be fine long term. Grieve the end of the marriage, heal, get support from family and friends, and move on. It feels like a huge weight off actually. Because now I feel nothing for her. Yeah it sucks to get divorced and all that, but it's even worse to stay with someone as heinous as she is. I'm free. I had exactly the same feelings. A giant weight lifted immediately when proof presented itself. After 15 years down the drain it's remarkable how easy it was to move on. Good luck and congrats on freedom. Remember this feeling. Write it down so you can read it. The road through this is probably not linear. There will be times when your resolve is tested. It's good to have something to look back on to recapture that feeling so that you can keep moving forward. Sorry for you man. It sounds like you have the correct mindset. Stay firm and have her served ASAP. Doesn't really work like that in Canada but I am already writing up the proposed terms of our separation agreement that my lawyer recommended he put in place. I will share those with her and tell her unless she objects I'm getting them in a contract and then she should hire her own lawyer to review it. Update, continuing to move forward while she denies it update previous post here. We talked today for the first time. She actually suggested that the photographic evidence I had of her holding the hands of a guy and walking up to her hotel room with him didn't prove anything. Apparently he's just a friend and someone who would listen to her, because I was supposedly not doing that. I told her I didn't believe her and it was irrelevant at this point. I think ultimately she's trying to save face because she was suggesting it's not fair for me to tell my friends and family she was having an affair. I didn't really answer that but I just told her I had no intention of slandering her to her own family, because it accomplishes nothing. In the end she agreed to pretty much all the proposed terms of separation I had laid out. She also told me she'd already leased an apartment in this new city beginning next month, which again is a telltale sign to me she's being duplicitous. The only real point of contention is going to be who gets the dog, which can hopefully be mediated quickly. It's been a whirlwind few days but I'm looking forward to having all of this behind me. So her going up to a hotel room with a random guy doesn't prove anything? Did she say that? Why not meet at a restaurant? Why do you need a freaking hotel room? Too many people believe that to prove adultery it must be beyond any reasonable doubt, that is for criminal cases, divorces and civil case, it is considered proven by the preponderance of evidence, i.e. they walked hand in hand to the hotel and spent the night and the next morning left. Hello? Any reasonable person concludes? He is so lucky his wayward wife isn't too bright. Given that most divorces in the US are no fault, and that adultery doesn't really matter for anything during the court proceedings for divorce, the standard of legal proof doesn't matter. It's mostly just a question for the BS to decide, how much proof of this suspected affair do I need before I can mentally overcome my hesitations to proceed with a separation slash divorce. If she gets a new guy you get the dogs only fair. Cheaters don't care about what's fair. I know this very well my friend, that's why you fight for what you want. She is no longer your friend. Fight for the dogs, it will be like a mini victory. 
whose name is the dog's ownership pin. If you don't have official papers then who has signed the vet bill? If you then you could win the ownership. Dog is under my name with the city for official registration but at the vet under her name. So not sure how it would go. But all the payments for everything, vet bills, pet insurance, licensing, etc., came from a credit card that is under my name and she was simply an authorized user, since removed her. So I think the odds generally tilt toward me. All of that plus the fact I've been caring for the dog while she's been traveling consistently the past two months. Then you have a very strong case to win this part of your divorce. Each state slash location is a bit different but if the state recognizes you as the owner then it should be cut and dry on it. I would think so. One concern that was raised by a family member is not to let her take the dog with her out there until it's been litigated because then they may not give her back. High up, just do not care anymore what she says. She is a liar. Wanting to move to the other part of the country and not you to go with her? Telling that the guy is just a friend? Haven't told you that he is a friend that you should not be worried about. You are doing the right things. Just move on and don't look back. Fortunately, she is moving far from you, as you know, far from sight, far from the heart. Trust me I know she's lying. But she knows private things about me that I've never shared with others beyond her and if I pissed her off I wouldn't put it past her to broadcast it. It's nothing close to cheating mind you, just kinks I was into in bed, but it's also not something I wanted to be publicly known by everybody. She may have already told her lover boy. Cheaters only care about themselves. I could care less what he knows. Hey. I would not care what she sighs and about me and my kinks, as Berry Mason would say that's hearsay her word against yours but you have photos to substantiate your claims. Watch Berry Mason he will get to the truth. Kinks? Nobody will believe her. She'll just ensure people see her for the pos she uses. She would have texts from me confirming things I'm into if she really wanted to go there. Did the pie get pics of them leaving or other evidence? Pics and video of them entering the hotel together holding hands going up to her room. It's pretty conclusive. Not trying to nitpick but is there a bar or restaurant there? Pics in the hotel hallway maybe? Was it a co-worker? Lovey dovey pics. Any of them coming out dressed differently? Right now you have good evidence but more would be great just trying to cover the bases, she will deny for a while then admit the cheating then blame you for the reason she need Esther to move. Hang in there. I don't really care what she has to say. You don't invite a dude up to your hotel holding hands if nothing is going on. Even on the very odd chance it wasn't yet a physical affair, which I don't buy, it was clearly an emotional one. We hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please help us grow, hit that like button. Have a good day or night. Wherever you are, 